Hey, what is going on guys? It's Jacob back again with another GTA Online modded video and today I'm going to be going over how I haven't been banned with Impulse or any paid menu in general as well as some tips on how to not get banned whether it's staying unbanned from GTA Online itself or just, you know, keeping yourself stay safe and, you know, keeping your personal belongings to your personal self because uh, you can uh, definitely head down some risky roads and get some stuff and some personal information taken if you don't take these right steps now i know that you guys have probably found my channel um from a how to not get banned modding video back uh, a few months ago so i decided to pretty much make an updated and a new one because some of those aren't well they aren't outdated but they are some uh, new updated tips that i should definitely give because of some circumstances that i've actually been through in the past I think four or five months that I have been modding as well in the past three months you guys have may know or may not know that I do a series on my channel called modern life and modern life is pretty much me going around messing around uh, with impulse mod menu impulse VIP mod menu and I do some trolling I do I fly around with cars do uh, like you know modded outfits I do a lot of stuff that you know would typically get you banned and reasons why is because it's a paid menu so it's gonna keep me safe and uh, yeah if you guys are interested in modern life want to check it out I think it's a really fun series it's um really funny too um it's turned into a funny moments kind of thing so if you guys want to check that out that'll be in the channel and you can find the playlist of all 62 episodes i think we're at now but uh yeah without further ado let's get into the tips and reasons why i have not been banned using impulse in gta online the number one reason i don't get banned is because impulse is not detected now there is a free and cracked version of impulse you don't want to use free or cracked versions of any paid menus or even if there's a free cracked version don't use any cracked versions because you could give away your personal information without you knowing it uh with the impulse free crack version i believe there was a key logger um i don't know for sure and i don't know who had any of that information or whatnot or who it's taken from but i would suggest staying away from cracked and free menus period not just cracked menus but free menus in general because free menus can easily be detected with rockstar security because um if it's free for you it's free for rockstar so they can easily figure out what's in the menu and how it works and uh, how to easily detect it within GT online so pretty much my number one tip is don't use free menus or crack menus because not only can you get banned from GT online you can get some of your personal information taken with key loggers and whatnot and that's not good either it's almost well I would say that's worse than getting banned from GT online so stay away from free menus and crack menus that's pretty much my number one thing about getting banned within GT online now, if you've been around the channel long enough and seen at least a couple of modern lives, maybe um, some of you guys have seen all of them. Some of you guys have seen a couple. Um, you would know that I do a lot of trolling and I mess around with a lot of people and people are like, oh, my God, you're going to get yourself banned. How are you not banned? Blah, blah, blah. And it's because I use protections. Now, with Impulse, they have a anti report. So any report that is sent to you um, from another player will instantly be like disappear you can't get reported with impulse or any of the impulses whether it's essential standard or vip you cannot get reported with impulse at all which is really cool because that's pretty much uh keeps me almost completely safe away from other players now if someone else is trolling me or griefing me or whatever um i just use protections now within impulse there's a bunch of protections um from what i know um and there's a lot of other menus that use really well good protections i couldn't really tell you one off the top of my head but i know impulse vip has like some of the best protections and sometimes you may see me within a model life you know get kicked out of a lobby sometimes that'll happen but um it's pretty much because other people are protecting themselves from other modders trying to, you know, grief or troll them or whatever, which makes sense because, you know, um, I do kick people out of lobbies if they're doing money drops or whatever because, um, you know, people can get banned if you pick up money from a money drop and stuff like that. So usually I'll just kick them out of the lobby and do some stuff like that. Now, if you, if you guys, obviously, if you guys want to see Modern Life, want to see this, see me do this firsthand go check it out um i'll be sure to leave the modern life full playlist in the description so you guys can check it out as well and on to the next tip now another reason why i haven't been banned with impulse or any menu so far 
any paid menu so far is because uh well it's protections and i change my i name every single lobby i join especially when recording a video because if either someone on youtube sees my name they can get my ip or whatever and you know um that's not good because if you find my name on social club then you can send me friend requests and stuff like that and you know usually i don't really care if anyone sends me friend requests if you guys do find it out i know it happened one time during a stream where it accidentally popped up and some of you guys you know started sending me friend requests i don't really think it's a big deal it's just like people can find your name and then join your lobby and then get your ip within another mod menu if you don't have it turned on now i have my ip blocked within impulse so usually keeping your name um in gta online uh discreet you know changing it i usually change it um you know just to join a new lobby and sometimes i'll change it from time to time to different names and there's some presets especially with impulse impulse has some uh, pretty cool presets within uh their recovery and protection no not the recovery their protection options so you can check those out i know there's one that's mr boss for the win i used that a couple times in one of my original original impulse trolling videos and you know since they can't get my name they can't look at my rocks or social club information or anything like that um i'm pretty much golden from well a it already blocks all my reports and b they can't say oh you know mr boss for the wins griefing you know really wait there's like 10,000 mr boss for the wins you know because everyone uses the preset name because everyone thinks it's funny and everyone <laughs> goes to report mr boss for the win and you know it's all good in the hood especially if you're using a you know name changer stuff like that now one thing i stay away from even though it's pretty much completely safe with impulse is i don't do money drops and i don't like level anyone up i don't even think you can level anyone up with impulse but you know i don't i don't do recoveries for any other people except for myself um i don't do any money drops because not only can that person get banned i could get banned too because they're getting that money and they're like huh you know how did this person just randomly get all this money and then they could probably i don't know how rockstar security works exactly but they can probably figure out who gave it to them and who's in the lobby with them they can look at their game or whatever i don't know i don't really know how rockstar security works but i know for sure that the devs that join games can you know pull up a little screen and they have this little add-on that can detect modding from anyone in their game so yeah don't do any recoveries for anyone maybe your friends within a private session but just just keep it to yourself and you know don't do any money drops for whole entire lobbies and whatnot yeah it might be safe but you could also be getting that person banned even though you might not get banned yourself so yeah just don't do any money drops and stuff like that another very easy way to get yourself banned is probably the biggest thing out of this entire list whether it's paid or free menu obviously the paid it's a little bit more lenient you can get away with a lot of these things but with free menus you're almost instantly you know banned or whatever is don't add too much money and don't add too much level to your account i don't stress this enough i get comments all the time on my other uh how to not get banned in 2020 video uh from months ago you know what if i had you know six billion dollars you think i need six million dollars no you don't need six billion dollars um my motto is um don't add more than 200 million dollars a day and don't spend more than 50 million dollars a day now you don't need a billion dollars so if you do maybe two four hundred million um you'll probably be okay with that especially the paid menu but with the free menu you're I, I would not even use a free menu like just if you don't want to get banned don't use a free menu but if you don't care go ahead use a free menu for a few days or a week sometimes you might you know you might get off the hook for a few weeks a couple weeks and you know you might not get banned right away but if that if you don't really care that's that's your choice and you know with free menus adding rp and adding money is a very very easy way to get detected because you know rockstar can see oh this person has played uh two days and they have 600 million dollars in their level of 600 like how the hell do they do this now they that can easily get detected and with impulse you know you can turn on a protection and change your stats so you can make it 30 days played and make it oh this guy's level 100 or level 2 300 with 60 30 60 days played and he only has 150 million and you know that makes more sense and um, you know and impulse is undetected or undetected yeah so you know you're not going to get detected with that now with free menus you're most likely going to get detected whether you're adding money or rp or whatever so that's probably the number one thing to stay away from using any sort of menu now with pay menus like i said they're a little bit more lenient but free menus don't add money and try not to pick up any money drops because that's another way you can get banned too 
and uh, you guys have seen even with my mono lives I added a hundred million dollars with impulse you guys can see it in the top right corner right now in the gameplay you guys are watching I have over a hundred million dollars that I do use a little bit here and there and spend some money with and I haven't been banned yet and I've used impulse uh, since December around Christmas time so it's almost been four months that I've been using impulse VIP and this is by far the best menu if you don't want to get banned and it has a lot of options you know protections uh, recovery trolling griefing all that kind of stuff now, those are the tips that I use and why you should use and not to get banned modding in GTA online in 2020 I know I made the one a th few months ago back now and you know I decided to make this updated video because not only did that video do well there are some things I added on to this one um, you know to ensure your guys safety um, whether it's getting banned GTA online and even getting your personal information taken away don't use crack accounts and stuff like that because you might get your um, you know personal information taken away and yeah I mean if you guys are new to the channel please drop a like subscribe turn on post notifications check out a modern life if you don't believe any of the things that I say I've made 60 modern lives now I've made other trolling impulse videos I've been using impulse for almost four months now and I haven't gotten banned. I've used all these things and all these tips that I've put into this video. I've been modding for over five months now, so I think I know what I'm saying, even a little bit. If you don't believe me, just a tiny bit. I think I know what I'm saying. So, I mean, put these tips to the test, try it out for yourself, um, and just don't use a free menu. That's all I really got to say. Check out the Modern Life. Uh, if you guys want to see this one, I believe, uh, I don't remember which model. I'm pretty sure this is Model Life 54, Uncle Ray, and Modded Oppressors. You can check this one out, too. This is probably one of my funnier ones with Zyrian. So, um, yeah, that's really all I got to say. Thank you guys for watching this updated GTA Online How to Not Get Banned modding video. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace. Sorry for your loss, look at what I bought, paint like Bob Ross, but it's not a draw, when that coin gets tossed, I don't catch no else, wishing well, nah.